Hello and welcome. My name is Travis Hemel, and I am a professional comic book artist and illustrator, and you are watching Comic Book Art Essentials. And today I wanted to talk about uh, something that gets used uh, a lot in like con sketches uh, or uh, commission pieces is sketch markers. And if anyone's familiar with these, um, there's a name that's going to come to mind, and the name is Copic. Um, Copic markers uh, have been really popular in the last, I guess, 10 years. And um, they're, you know, Copic's uh, a brand that does markers and, like, uh, multi-liner pens. Uh, this is dual tip with a chisel edge and a brush end. And they come in a variety of colors. And um, they also do grays. Like, uh, this is, like, neutral gray is what this would be called. Uh, and that's what this pack is here. And I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but they do uh, neutral, uh, neutral grays, uh, cool grays, and warm grays. And, you know, they make really, like I mentioned before, really great sketches. Uh, but they're very expensive. And I personally don't use a lot of markers a lot of times. But if I want to use grays, um, I would use these Copic neutral ones. But they're pretty expensive, and I decided to try and use um, this Artist Loft. And Artist Loft brand, I believe, is a, is a Michaels brand. Um, it's you know it's fairly uh, it's fairly cheap. Uh, the price is uh, well, it really depends on if you're using a, a coupon or not. Uh, and the price usually on these are about like twenty dollars. Um, but Michaels usually has like fifty percent of coupons, so like ten bucks. Um, don't buy these unless you have the Michaels coupon, in my opinion. Um, the Copic ones, uh, from the same website, uh, I'm sorry, from the same store, uh, Michaels, um, they're about, like, I believe about $50, uh, 45 to $50. I might be off on that, but yes, a lot more expensive. Uh, even if you were going to use a 50% discount. Um, and the reason why you probably don't want super expensive ones is because the ink, uh, does run out. Um, you, these are refillable. Um, but you know, after using these artist loft ones, um, I, I think this will just be a better and easier alternative. Um, so why I would use these, um, you know, if I, I don't normally use this, um, in my comic book, uh, pages, um, I typically just use them for commissions or sketches. And, um, this is, you know, one an example. Actually, I use these on the first, like the first day I got it. I was doing a live stream, and uh, I'll put a link to that video. Um, but I did it on Gambit here. Um, not really <laughs> what I ended up doing with the white paint um, here, but I really like the way the marker came out here. And um, to just kind of make this video a little quicker, I love these. They're great. Um, I think they definitely look. Uh, really good, and they're very comparable to the Copic ones. I they do exactly what they need to do. Um, they're in the same color range, so when you get these, they come in a pack of six. Uh, you can buy individually, but just buy the pack of six. Um, they start off from the lowest, if I can get this out, lowest, and in two, you have an in three. There we go. In five, and in six. And, and just if you haven't gotten it, the N is for neutral. And eight, and then just a pure, like a black marker one is N10. Um, haven't used the N10. At least that, that I can remember. Um, also, same thing. Chisel end. So this is a piece of Bristol board I have kind of ready here. So I'm just going to go really quickly and just show you um, each one. Actually, I'm going to start with an N2 and then... I'll show you on another piece of paper. All right, so chisel end. And let's write in two. Okay. And we'll do. Okay. All right, and three.
Okay. And this is going to be uh, in five. In six. In eight. And finally, this last guy here, this is going to be the N10, which is just black. Okay, so I um, stopped the video real quick so I can kind of readjust the camera and get a little closer so we can see these better. And also I took the liberty of doing kind of a, just a closer um, just comparison of these. So, of course, the N2 right here, N3, N5, N6, N8, and, of course, the last one, N10. Um, so, uh, you know, just like I said, very, very similar. It's pretty much the same thing. I think it's the best affordable option. And, you know, I, I will say there's some cons to it. Um, you know, the, the thing is mostly being the ink, uh, you know, if you're going to be doing either a comic or a big commission, I mean, something small like this, this is nine by 12 and I didn't use a lot of, you know, it's not a really big piece, um, that I'm using it. So if you're using a lot of these grays, just use watercolor. Um, don't worry about using marker. If you're using, you know, people do big, um, big commissions and use these Copics. And um, there was like, for instance, there was an artist named uh, Megan Hetrick. If you uh, not aware of uh, her, you should definitely check her out. Uh, I'll try and put a link to her videos. I think she uh, has a channel as well. Uh, or at least I'll post uh, to an article because she talks about Copics. And one of the things, um, you know, that that's a concern is that some of the colors used in Copics because of um, of how they work, uh, the colors fade. Um, over time. So if they're, if you're using vibrant marker colors, um, that's, I believe, like not, we have to be not alcohol based. Um, uh, the, the colors will just fade over time. So, um, you know, I don't usually use those in pieces. If I will, if I do, it might be watercolor or if it's just something like a quick sketch, I might just use like some basic, uh, markers. Uh, I don't really have to worry about vibrancy really for, for sketch grays like these. And, you know, a pro here uh, in terms of why to use this or use these types of pens is if you're traveling and you can't really fit a watercolor set or anything, these are great. And you're not really going to be doing big commissions at shows or anything like that. Um, or at least I, I personally wouldn't recommend it. Um, you're going to be doing smaller stuff. So, yeah, th these would be great companion. Um, and one last thing probably what I'm going to do, one last thing I'm going to probably do before I close out the video um, I am going to show you a few more different, um, paper samples. Uh, and I'm just going to pause the video and we'll come back. Okay. So here's, uh, two more paper samples. Um, the first one that I showed you, the very first one, not what you're seeing now, is just standard Bristol board. Um, if I get the information, I'll put it in the, in the notes and the description of the show, but it's basic, um, you know, Bristol board that you would use for illustration. Uh, smooth Bristol board. Now, what I've been using for some sketches and commissions uh, is this Canson paper. And what you really probably can't really see is this Canson paper actually has some texture to it. Uh, it's made for ink, watercolor, it's mixed media type of paper. I love it. Uh, this is very, very nice paper. Uh, and what I have here, just as this little scrap of like, just, uh, I want to say like a sketch uh, sketchbook paper. Um, it was an old sketchbook I had lying around, and I've been using this as a scrap paper. But, um, you know, you can kind of see a difference. Um, 
let's go back to the bristle board. Well, you can see the bristle board hold, holds the um, marker pretty well. I think the best one, though, is this Canton paper, because what you're probably not seeing, and let's see if I can get this to focus. Um, you might not be able to see it on camera, but uh, you have a little bit of bleeding around the edges, which is not too bad. Um, you know, um, it still holds a lot better than, say, this normal sketchbook paper that I have here. Um, because if you, there is a marker falling. If you look up here, um, this is the Canson paper. Uh, holds it very well. Very nice line work. Um, this would be my go-to uh, if I was good doing commissions. Uh, is this Canton paper. Maybe I'll do a video and talk about some, you know, choosing the right paper or something like that. Uh, let me know in the comments below if that's something you want to see. Um, I have several different types of paper to kind of go through and show. Um, anyway, and this normal sketchbook paper is probably the worst. Um, I wouldn't use these markers with it. A um, lot of kind of bleeding, uh, very fuzzy. It's not if you were looking for nice, smooth lines um, with this, it's going to be... Um, it's going to be the cancer paper that you will be wanting. That's the that's the case because this is this looks really terrible. I uh, wouldn't use it. I probably wouldn't even use this with um, just fine point pens or anything like that. Uh, probably just pencil. I would probably just use this for. Uh, and also kind of show something else because this doesn't hold ink that well. This bleeds in to my bottom. This is kind of scrap. I had drawn a little funny face. Uh, you know, just kind of test these markers out originally. And what's nice is I do get a little bit of little bit of bleed through here, um, but really didn't transfer over to this bottom piece. Uh, I was curious about that uh, if this paper was gonna um, have that leak down, but uh, doesn't really look like it. So uh, that's the review. Um, if you haven't already, um, please like this video and also subscribe to this channel. Um, also, you can check out some of the comics I've worked on. Uh, Arc World Volume 1 is available. It's in my Etsy store. Uh, and Volume 2 is coming out November 25th. I'm not sure when this video is going to come out. Um, I might also have copies available on the Etsy store by then as well. The books are, are typically $8 to $10, depending on which cover. And I charge $5 for shipping. But to kind of make up for that, charging for that shipping, I do... Uh, include a sketch of one of the characters from the book, a little small sketch. And uh, I also include a Comic-Con preview sample that we had printed up, printed up for Volume 1, originally when uh, we were just starting kind of production and going to the Kickstarter for Volume 1. Um, those are limited quantities. I'll include that as long as I have some available. But anyway, thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one.